Can you hear them? That's Patsy, because she's downstairs. You're going to have to go upstairs to get your food. I'll put it all up there with Lovely. So you're going to have to go up. I've even got some parsley. <laughs> go on. You've got to go upstairs to get it. I'm not putting it down here. Food upstairs. Right. I've already given her some spinach. Just going to open the parsley. Looks like breakfast for one at the moment, doesn't it? Did you hear Patsy? I'm hoping she's going to come up the stairs. Patsy, there's parsley. But she's fuming down there, running around. Patsy! <laughs> there she comes, there she comes. <laughs> oh, hello, Patsy. Can you hear her? the horrible noise she's making? She's so angry. Did you hear it? Yeah. It's not that cold, you know. It's all right, but I think I'm going to put your cover back over you. I had some people say they're worried about the guinea pigs being out because it's got a bit cold, but don't worry. They've got a thermal cover, and I've also got some heat pads that I can put in. It's only going to be for one night. I've checked the weather. But it's all right this today, isn't it, girls? I packed their bedroom full of hay last night as well. I can see they've made some lovely little nests. Right, let's leave them to it. Everybody in the nursery is awake. So Betty's awake. She's got her teddy bear. Oh, Josie. Josie's awake. But the lamb isn't. Herbert is awake and so is little Tim. And Pauline's awake and she's playing with her Barbie today, aren't you, Pauline? Pauline, what the hell has happened to your Barbie's top? Looks like she's been eating chocolate. Hang on, you've got the same mark. What have you two been up to, hey? She loves Barbies. <laughs> oh, you really suit your new bed, Betty. I made this little teddy bear. He was one of the first ones I made and I could never part with him. He's lovely, isn't he? I think I called him Tommy. Betty, his name is Tommy. Oh no, he's my teddy bear. Keep your feet under there. It's a bit chilly today. Oh, I love her. I definitely want more cots. I had some daffodils the other day and I said that they look like posh eggs. These ones look like really posh eggs, don't they? Where was the nice? I find, and I found this for the last however many years I've been buying daffodils, the varieties change as you go through the season. So the first ones that I have don't open. They sort of all get to that point. And then they flop down. And then they... So I've got this variety up here. And then next, there'll be like little tiny ones come out. And I like those ones the best. But these ones are pretty, aren't they? My mum bought me a lovely like, set of bulbs like this. Planted them. James Lawn mowed them. And they never came back. He thought it was hilarious. <laughs> I'm laughing about it now, but I didn't think it was very funny at the time. I said yesterday, didn't I, that I was going to show you some fabric that I'd bought. And I've just had a look at my Instagram feed. I used it September 2020. And I only made five bags out of it. And I bought the whole of the bundle. Look. Some of you will have bags. Well, five of you will have bags made out of this. But why did I only use... I don't know why I only made five and put it away. I don't know if I got carried away with Christmas and then... But anyway, I was sorting out my um, fabric because I think I'm going to make another one of those bunny quilts. I come across all this. I've got to use it, haven't I? Anyway, so I'm going to turn it into some more bags 
and I've been making some of these panels for the fronts of bags so that's what I'm going to be doing over the next few days but why did I only use I don't know what I was thinking oh well it's going to be used now I've got quite a lot of it it's really pretty isn't it I think it matches this style really nicely I'm going to I found some more different well some different cottons that I'm going to make some more of these with I found some quite nice um some nice bright purples but honestly what was I thinking look it was in this basket with all this lot do you remember I ironed it this is what I'm going to make my quilts out of I think well I don't know we'll see yeah it was sitting on the top of that on a shelf I think we need to turn it into something don't we there we are that's the first one done oh look at Jasper peeking in at the back oh, I get nervous making new things I, I, what I do is I stand I'm just telling James I stand something in here after I've made it and then I go out of the room and then I keep coming back and having a look I like it I can't believe I've been sitting on this fabric all that time without using it Jasper it's nice isn't it to see the back yeah it's nice and big shall I show you how many skeins you can get in it anyway I'll guess how many it's got in it 10 so they are quite big this isn't even this is my large bag this isn't the extra large bag so they're quite spacious. I don't think I've ever shown that before, have I? How many it can fit in it? Yeah, it's got ten, just to give you an idea of size. The extra large can fit even more in it. Right, I've got to cook the tea now, everybody. More bag making tomorrow. Oh, can you hear the dog? <laughs> that is what was in the bag. Ten. Right. <laughs> I'm going to go see if the dog's all right. Hello. I've finished doing all the stuff that I normally do in the evenings before I sit down, but I feel like there's something else I've got to do, but I can't think what it could possibly be. I don't know what it is. I'm going to go and check the temperature outside for the guinea pigs, see if they need a heater yet. I'll definitely put one in tonight before I go to bed. And then change it in the morning because it's supposed to get quite cold tonight. It's actually, I think it's supposed to snow at about 11 o'clock. So I'll definitely put them in a, well, maybe two heaters. I've got these um, discs, they go in the microwave. And then they've got a little fleece cover that covers them up. And the guinea pigs can sit right on top of them and it just keeps them warm. And I have seen them sit sitting on top of them before. It's ever so sweet. And they stay warm for ages, so they'll be fine until the morning. They're just right for when it's not so cold in the daytime, but it is colder at night. I don't want to bring them back in again, because that'll muck them up. So, um, they'll be alright. I've had a lovely busy day today sewing. And then I'll have another lovely busy day sewing again tomorrow. I've got to go to the fabric shop in the morning. So I've run out of lining. I will go in Wilco and I'll get the paint to do that bit up there. Because I've run out of spray as well. So I'll go and get some of that. Johnny is excited. He went for his college interview today to do catering at the college. And he's been offered a place, which is lovely news. He's ever so excited. It does sound good. So, yeah, he's pleased. He said he's going to have to work till nine o'clock some evenings because they've got a restaurant in the college where the children, well, they're not going to be children, where the students, um, like the people who are doing catering do all the cooking and then the people who are doing hospitality do all the service. It's good. It's a good setup. And members of the public can go and eat there. It's cheap. Me and James will definitely be going up there. Yes, yeah, lovely. So Meg's 
got her art course and Johnny's got his cooking course. It's good, isn't it? I'm really pleased for them. They haven't got long left at school. The kids have just had chicken wraps for tea with chips and some salad. I cook chicken breasts. Oh, is everyone walking past the house now, just as I'm doing this? Oh, I'm on a conference call, aren't I? I'm working. Yeah, they've just had um, some chicken breast in some wraps with salad and stuff. Hello, Dennis. Have you seen I've got you a new bed? He's got a new donut bed. I tried to put him in it and it was like he had springs on his feet. He jumped straight back out of it. Lizzie's in there reading a book about hamsters that she's had delivered. Is it a good book, Liz? Yeah. Is your book good? Yeah. Good. So I'm just going to go and check the guinea pigs now. I feel like knitting something a bit different tonight. Shall I show you what I've been knitting? Hang on. I'm making some DK socks with um this. The DK yarn that I got from the yarn festival. They're lovely. These are, I think they're called the, well, it's the Something Cute Socks by Helen Stewart. And I've done down the heel, I've just got the rest of the foot and the toe to go. But look, they're ribbed on the back and patterned on the front with these lovely cables. I love doing cables. I must do my cable jumper that I've been saying I want to make. They're lovely. I just think that the way that though this pattern picks out, can you see those two bits of cable going across that middle bit there? The way that they see these bits here when you're using wool like this with like every stitch is a different colour I just think that that just looks lovely doesn't it I'm really pleased with that I just love these colours and I like the way do you like my prison trousers I like the way that um it's ribbed on the back as well anyway that's enough of this now I'm looking at it I do want to knit them tonight I think I can get it finished tonight um, and my needles match the knitting, look. I'm going to go and see to my piggies, make sure they're nice and warm, and I'm going to say goodnight to you. I'll see you in the morning for the last day of March Vlogs. Goodbye.